love and respect to everybody tuned in right now. Thank you for being here once again. Appreciate everyone here. Much love to the chat. Everybody tuning in uh, later on. Alright, we're just waiting for a little bit more people to join us so they don't miss any of the presentation. Enjoy the music. Thank you for uh, being here. Uh, let me know if you guys can hear me with the let me know with one. Make sure my audio is working. I know you can hear the music, so let me know if you can hear me. All right, we're about to get started. Um, man, I was looking for this book for a while. Um, this book was very hard to get. Um, but when I heard the description of the book, when I kept, when I found it in the source. As a source, I mean, when I was doing my investigation and different things, um, I needed to read it. Once I read the back of it, all right, I needed to know what exactly was in this book. And um, hey, I, I, it was do or die, really, for me, because this will prove my research or debunk my research. You know, and. I just want to show you guys, you know, that, you know, we're, we're going on the right track and, uh, you know, let, they left out a lot, a lot out of history, a lot. It's a total flip on what they told us. It's just, we're opening Pandora's box, really, man. Just welcome to the Twilight Zone, Which, whatever you want to call it, Mandela Effect, whatever it is. I don't know, but the story that was told to us is a total lie, total lie, and... I'm going to show you guys, you know, because a lot of these people I'm probably going to read out today. A lot of these people are probably uh, your ancestors. I'm probably going to name out a lot of your ancestors today. You know, you might not even know they are your ancestors, you know. Probably never would have thought they were because we're thinking in their whole uh, paradigm, their mainstream teaching that all Europeans are white, that everybody who's dark skin came from Africa, you know, and uh, all these generalizations. You know, that everybody's an Indian, you know. We got to stop the generalizations. And, you know, 
I just want to show you, you know. This book is going to show you <laughs> what these people look like. All right? It describes them. Very detailed. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? Alright, so uh, before I begin, just want to, if you're new to my channel, again, we've put in a lot of work, not just me, you know, I learned from a lot of people, we gather the info, you know, I like to present it in my way, make sure people get it, you know, down, packed, 100%, no doubts, you know, with sources, so you can verify, so you can have it, you know, you can do your thing with it, and make your own conclusions with it, again, we're not talking about conjectures here, we're not talking about, I heard this and I heard that and I heard and things you can't prove, you know. So, this is my channel again. I have a couple playlists here. We've gone over a lot of things, you know. From indigenous American to African American, we know, we know there was a lot of so-called black, so-called black Indians here, right? We know untold ancient American truth. We know a lot that they hid from us now, right? We know about ancient America. I make sure to catch this is a playlist, all right? The known history of America, the origin of the nations, white servitude in America, indentured servitude playlist. Make sure you guys have caught up to all these videos if you haven't. A lot of good info, all right? Swarty Europe and its sub original inhabitants. Three videos of that. We're showing anthropology, primary sources of what the original people. Um, in general look like in Europe. So we already know there was so-called black Europeans, right? You guys know, you guys been following me and watching. If you're still just holding on to, oh, maybe it was a couple. No, Cody Mail, man, what do you mean? What do you mean, they were all black, Cody Mail? You know, I'm like, no, that's not what I mean, I don't generalize. But in general, <laughs> it's starting to seem like they were. I know, I know, hey. I know a lot of people don't want to just hear this. A lot of people just, I just want to know. I just want to be Indian. You know, I'm Indian. I don't care if I have eight ancestors who are black Europeans, so-called black, and I got one Indian. I'm Indian. You know, because we we the ancient ones, right? Well, you know, now is everybody the same? Are we generalize it still, or are we still stuck in 1993? All right, and that whole pan African idea that you know, you 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 know, one people came out of. A specific people came out of a specific place, and that's that's all cool, you know. So, all right, again, just wanted to show my uh, channel if you're new, you know, make sure to catch all the other presentations we've done. We've gone over a lot of information. Who are the hugging nuts? Who are the hugging nuts? Sephardic Jews, all right, Abraham Lincoln, so called Negro. What? The? Yeah, we proved it from his own words, too, all right. From his own words, so there's a lot, a lot here. Okay, go over if you're new. Again, all this culminates to what we're going, where we're heading to. The more we investigate, the more we're getting closer to the truth. When on, okay. on, you know, disclosing information that's been hidden, um, you know, making correlations that we never thought we would be making. I, I never imagined I would find a book like this, proving everything I've been researching. All right, so I know, I know, let's get to it. All right, let me know if the music's too loud. I'll put it down. All right. So we got this book, uh, Virginia's Colonial Soldiers, by Lloyd DeWeek Buckstruck. This is the cover right here. All right, Stay with me. I want to be able to read uh, the back of the book real quick. 
second. Yeah, so I've had a crazy day today, guys. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> people are getting pretty desperate out here in Costa Rica with the COVID thing. A lot of jobs lost, and uh, they're going, they're doing desperate things like stealing the breakers and the fuses from my electrical uh, meter that's outside. So I woke up with no electricity today. I wanted to do this really early, you know, and I, just all my plans got ruined. Um, a lot of expens expenses trying to get it fixed, and it was a crazy day. But here we are, all right, and I appreciate you guys being here, all right, we got the, the uh, fuses replaced, no worries, all right, so I just want to read the back of this book real quick, what he says, this is what mainly, when I saw it listed as a source and a lot of good uh, documents, I, and I had to get this book, and then I read the back, and so it says here, American military history uh, begins, one second, I think it's too loud, begins with the establishment of the Virginia Colonial Militia in the 17th century. This ill-trained militia was the colony's only defense against Indian attacks and invasions by hostile powers. The records they left behind, fragmentary uh, and widely scattered, are prized by genealogists because they can be used to establish a place of origin or to prove that a particular person existed in a given locality at a specific time. The difficulty has always been to locate the records and to make them accessible, right? So that's always been, I guess, the, the hardship, right? Uh, you know, these records were not available to us, honestly. You know, it, it, it made it hard. So with the publication of Virginia's Colonial Soldiers, this book right here, that problem is now behind us, guys. From research based on county court minutes and orders, bounty land applications and warrants, records of courts, marshal, county militia rosters, hand and statues at large, the Draper Manuscript, and manuscripts in the Public Records Office in London, we now have an authoritative, again, authoritative, authoritative register of Virginia's colonial, colonial soldiers. A record so comprehensive, guys, so comprehensive that it may cause the genealogical history of Virginia to be rewritten. All right, we're rewriting history, and you know we've been doing that. We've been doing that since day one. We're doing that since day one. All right. I'm gonna continue here. Where are we? <laughs> Nor it is a merely dry catalog of names and dates. The military found it necessary, for instance, to resort to size roles to prevent multiple enlistments by the same soldier and to apprehend those who deserted. All right, so a lot of the times they wanted to get very specific just to make sure those two things didn't happen right there. The size roles published here routinely give the soldier's place of nativity, his age, his residence, occupation, and physical appearance or description all right his physical description you guys ready sometimes the enlisting officer recorded his impressions of the soldier john williams was described as being fond of liquor john wade as having a villainous appearance john edward as being thin nosed pock pitted and intoed john brigman as being spare made with a wrinkled okay, visage oh, and thomas deacons as being a likely handsome yeah, fellow yeah, nor was frontier yeah, warfare yeah, pleasant john potter was shot through his heel and had his jaw broken by a tomahawk in 1754 john potter man hmm. and william shaw was taken prisoner in 1756 and had his toes cut off one by one and so on and on though of course not all the records are so interesting and informative I'm going to show you an example of what this means. Little is known about the ordinary people of Colonial Virginia, but though they left no diaries or journals, we have the rare privilege now, guys, of coming almost face to face with them in this book. All right? Let's break some spells. All right? You know I'm live, so you know, just bear with me. Not the same when it's pre recorded. Alright, so this is the contents of this book, supposedly. You can take a look here. Okay, think of the OMD. Alright, so I'll list all these records right here. All these information. Alright. 
Um, while I'm doing this, I'm okay. So you know, it's a book. Okay, so first of all, I had to buy the book. It's not online anywhere. All right, I had to buy the book. I had to wait for it to come from the states. You know, got it. it took so forever to get here. It was hard to find. There was no previews for it anywhere. Just the back of the book. Of course, they're gonna do that. They don't want you to see what's inside. They know probably most of you will never buy this or even hear about this. Because if you're not investigating this, you probably will never come across this book. You won't even know it exists. All right. So I have to basically. I was gonna read the book from my hand and film it with my phone and early in that wasn't working out at all. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, now I gotta take pictures and screen share like I'm doing now. And that's what I have to do. And we got at least a good amount today, you know, of uh, information. So, you know, this is what I was doing this whole time. I told you guys I was about to go live. You know, I thought it was going to be easy. It took me a long time. And the internet was acting up. I don't know if they're trying to stop me. You know, you know how it is, man. But we, 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 we're almost there. All right. They can't stop this. All right. So, again, this is the contents. All right. Let me just uh, go ahead and read this real quick. The absence of register of colonial soldiers of Virginia has been very conspicuous to me in my capacity as a genealogical reference librarian as a past state register of the Society of Colonial Wars. All right, so he got his uh, background right. Virginia was the beginning of the British Empire and grew to be the most populous of the British colonies in the New World. Those Virginians, however, who served the monarch in the defense and expansion of the empire are difficult to document, all right? Both William Crozier and his Virginia Colonial Militia, 1905, and Hamilton J. Ecken wrote in his list of colonial soldiers of Virginia, 1917, sought to identify and make available the names of those men who served from Virginia. Sundry, sundry other, other lists subsequently appeared elsewhere in county histories and period, per, periodicals. More importantly, there were thousands of manuscript pages in depositories in this country and England, yet to be examined, yet to be examined. Why not? Did they purposely not do this in order to ferret out the additional names of men in the service of their king? Accordingly, what began as a quest to discover the military service of my own forebears in the colony became transformed into a compilation of all those whom I could identify. I am pleased to share the results. And you know what? I'm very appreciative appreciative for this person doing this you know I'm really glad he did this eventually we were, it was gonna come to our hands guys and we, here it is all right we just have to go on the right track we just have to dodge all the hijacks we have to get rid of our generalization we have to start stop trying to be something just cuz because you want to be you know you got to do your history you got to do your genealogy you got to know thyself Everybody has a different history. Color doesn't make you the same people. All right? And I'm very thankful to this author for putting this together. And the only reason he came across this info was because why? He was doing his own family's genealogy. If not, he would have never known. He would have believed whatever he believed the rest of his life. And this book wouldn't be here right now. All right? So... Many individuals were necessary involved in the preparation of this work. I wish to acknowledge the generous cooperation of the staff of the following institutions, the Virginia State Library, the Library of Congress, the Library of Congress, okay, the Public Records Office, the Fondren Library of Southern Methodist University, the Huntington Library, the Virginia Historical Society, and the Family History Library of the Church of Jesus Christ of Later Day Saints, right? The Mormons, who owns FamilySearch.org, Ancestry.com, most of these, and Genealogical. Who has the Genealogical Database in Utah? Yes, the Later Day Saints of Jesus Christ Church. All right, Mormons, they know who you are. They've had this information this whole time. Shame on them for not putting this out here the right way. And saying something to those making textbooks filled with lies. All right? Yes, this is a conspiracy. I am especially grateful for the expertise shared by Robert Young Clay, Conley Edwards, and Daphne Gentry of the Archives Division of the Virginia State. All right, so, again, this, there's sources in here, and this is stuff you can verify historically. None of this is being made up. 
This is not coming from one book. We're not just going off of one book here. Again, he showed you all the sources. He showed you your background, why he did it. We're about to get into this. We already know the history. You guys have been following me for a while. We're going to prove it right now, right? So let's read out here. This is just an example of some of the records here. This is a plain one. It doesn't show the description, but I just wanted to show you the book's also filled with this type of uh, records. Uh, it describes them a little, but not fully. Uh, for example, this is just an example. Says, These are names of soldiers appearing in the court minutes and orders of individual counties in Virginia. Most of the references are to officers in the county militia who, in order to receive their commissions, had to take the requested oath of office to the crown. The date is the term of the court in which the individual is mentioned. In a few counties, the rank of the militia officer is not given, so the designation MC for military commission has been used. So this would be an example in Virginia, Accomack County in Virginia, and it gives you a, an example here in 16, uh, 1677, Robert Hill, 11 days service in Bacon's Rebellion, Joseph Newton, 11 days service under Colonel all right, and so on and so on. Again, this is just one of the simple um, uh, right, uh, census or roles, right? And I just wanted to show you that the whole uh, the book is also filled with this type. You might, any of these people could be your ancestors. I don't think these are all white people. Why do I say that? I'm going to show you right now. All right. So, again, just another example. I just wanted to show you guys that this book has all these records like this as well, not just ones with descriptions, but and it goes by county, all right, in years, all right. Now we're going to get to some of the fun. Oh, okay, this is another example, all right. Uh, King George War, 1739, 1748, and uh, shout out, I saw, I noticed, uh, I don't know if it was this week or last week, Phoenix Moon, she shared um, a screenshot of a description of some of the soldiers that were under King George or in the King George War, um, and there was all kinds of complexions there, right? If you guys follow her, you, you would have saw that. All right? So, you know, I, I'm watching. I'm learning from everybody. You know, if it's good info, I don't care who the person is. I, I like the info. I'm going with truth. All right? The following are the muster rolls of the company of foot, foot of Captain Beverly Robinson raised in the colony of Virginia in 1746 for an expedition against Canada. The company was part of a larger force under the command of George Clinton, Captain General and Commander-in-Chief of the province of New York. Lieutenant Joseph Harmer was left sick at New York, and ensign John Sloss was not returned. The original records are in the public records office in London. Right? Again, so another example I wanted to show is, is this is another sample. These returns included the names of the officers, the date of their commission, their rank, and the names of the privates with their date of enlistment. So that's what's described here. All right. So, yes, for example, Beverly Robinson, Captain Fort I, uh, 14, let me see, that's their rank. Okay, June, jo Joseph Harmon, okay. So that's, here you go, another example. Again, some of these might be your ancestors here. All right, let's move on. All right. So again, we got another one they got in here. Uh, again, these are examples. I'm not going page by page. I'm skipping a lot of pages. So French and Indian War, 1754, 1763, so I got... The people that fought in this war, it's describing what happened here with this war. Right? A lot of you already know this. Yeah, I'll just read this paragraph right here. It says, in 1760, the Cherokees began their own war against Virginia, and peace did not materialize until 1762. Along with Spain, Britain, and France agreed to terms of peace and signed the Treaty of Paris on the 10th of February, 1763. So, Cherokees eventually signed the peace of treaty too. The Indians, however, continued to lay waste to the Virginia frontier. Since the Virginia regiment had been disbanded, the government summoned the militia on Hampshire and surrounding counties. And it goes on, it goes on. All right, again, here's the soldiers. Uh, the return of Captain John's West recruits. Then we got the return of Captain John, uh, Captain Hawk's company, and the list, and so on. It goes on like this for a while. All right. Second. French War. Okay. Second. Right. Oops. So, what do we have here? This is what I came to show you. This is what, what, what I want to show you guys that's in this book. All right, you guys ready? We're about to start. All right. So, down here in the last paragraph, it says, Muster Roll of Troops of Light Horse, commanded by Captain Robert Stewart, 11 May 1756, at Maidstone. Right, 
Enlisting officers, Captain Robert Stewart, Sergeant William Hughes, and Colonel George Gordon, role gave, na- role gave name, the entry date, the age, the size, the trade, the complexion, and the county. All right? What do we have? So, again, the complexion, right? Complexion. William Hughes, Sergeant 4, 1754, 26, 57. He's dark. He's dark. He's where? He's from England. He's dark. He's from England. William Borto, Corp. 12 March, 1754, 23, 58. Taylor. He's ruddy. From Virginia. John Wissenberg, Corporal. He's 5'8", 27. He's brown. From England. He's brown complexion. George Peak. I say, he's a gentleman. He's brown. He's from Virginia. Robert Tuznap. He's a blacksmith. He's ruddy. He's from Georgia. That's England. James Buchanan. I Shoemaker. He's dark. And he's from Scotland. Dark complexion. Alright? Dark complexion. Scotland. Robert Cornelius. 5'8", Planter. Dark. Virginia. Alright, Robert Cornelius is dark. So is this a so-called Negro in Virginia? Is he from Virginia? Wait, I thought everybody during this time was a slave that was dark-skinned. But he's a planter. Let's say nothing about him being a slave. George Clancy. Planter. Ruddy. Maryland. Thomas Rose. He's a copper worker. He's dark complexion. And he's from Maryland. All right. Continue. We've got John Eleanor. He's brown. He's from Germany. All right. Brown, Germany. John Craig. He's a weaver. Brown. He's from Ireland. All right. John Haas. Blacksmith. He's swarthy from Maryland. We already know what swarthy means, right, guys? That means so-called black, dark skin, of a dark complexion. Swarthy. Swart. John Burns. He's a collier. He's ruddy. He's from Ireland. All right? All right? So far, you guys liking this? All right. It's going to get about to get better. Let me see. And then we got... <laughs> So you guys can see, I can name, oh, I can keep going. James Govan, Brown, he's from England. Daniel Kelly, he's dark complexion, he's from Pennsylvania. George Wilson, dark, Pennsylvania. William Lynn, dark, Ireland. And you guys are probably saying, but they probably don't mean that, cootie male. Well, we'll see when they start naming out the fair and pale skin ones. All right, so if you want to say this does not mean dark or black, and that's all your conjecture. You gotta prove that. You gotta prove that. Because you know why? Because I've been doing a lot of genealogies recently. I do about three to four a week. And a lot of people are ending up in these same places in Virginia. And they have uh, records of their ancestors being in the Revolutionary War and all that. Of course, they're not labeling the complexion during these census these times, but they didn't do that. They did it on these roads right here that we're looking at now. So if you do get to an ancestor and you want to make sure he might be in here, he might be in here, he might be listed, what complexion he is. But again, this is just more proof to the genealogy I've been doing recently with people, right, with everyone. So again, <laughs> Dart from Ireland, right, William Lynn, he's Dart, Patrick Murphy, Dart from Pennsylvania, Samuel Hill, Dart from Ireland. George Souther, dark from Holland. He's from Holland, right? Dutch, black Dutch. You guys ever heard of the term black Dutch? David Glending, Glending, soldier, he's brown. He's from Scotland. John Smurver, Miller, brown, Germany. George Shriver, shoemaker, he's dark. He's from Germany. He's from Germany. John Lagot, Ponier, Dan, 1756, Taylor. Brown, he's brown, and he's from Germany. Daley McKay, brown, Scotland. Samuel Baxter, he's brown complexion, England. John Kelton, brown, from Ireland. John Brown, he's brown, <laughs> from England. Thomas Shepard, he's brown, from England. And William Marshall, he's brown, from England. All right. I didn't even see any light-skinned person at all in that. All right, I know you guys are probably doubtful right now, still. All right, muster roll of Captain David Bell's company at Maystone, 12 May 1756. And listen up, so Lieutenant Campbell, Captain Bell, and 
Dean Roy, including name, date, entertain, entertain, age, size, faith, complexion, and county, country. So we start with David Collins. He's a sailor. He's fair skinned. He's from Ireland. Right? He's fair skinned. Timothy Sullivan. He's a wagoner. He's brown. He's from Ireland. William Smith. He's brown skinned. England. Robert Bassett. Brown complexion. England. Edward Austin. He's fair. He's from England. James Thompson. He's brown. He's from England. Peter Mullen. He's brown, iron. For all you guys that like crayon colors, this is probably fun for you guys. Because we're talking about brown, black, black, fair. You know, we're talking about crayon. <laughs> Good places here. But I want you to guys see what's listed here, what's been hidden. William Colbert, planner. He's brown skin. From Scotland, John Penmore. He's fair skin. From England, James Thomas. He's brown skin. From Virginia, Edward Childs. He's a farmer. He's fair skin. From England. John Hooper, he's a weaver, he's brown skin from England. Samuel Cummins, bricklayer, fair skin, Virginia. Daniel Stanley, shoemaker, dark skin from Ireland. Dark skin from Ireland. Philip Caulfield, he's a farmer. He's fair skin, he's Dutch, he's, he's fair skin. Henry Francis Sherwood, he's a pastor, he's brown complexion, he's from England. Richard Keith, he's brown complexion, he's from England. James Hooper, he's also brown complexion from England. All right, list of men, oh, list of men out of the borough of Norfolk and listed 18 May 1756, All right? And what does this give? They were the officers list of Major Joshua Smith. List gave name, age, nativity, complexion, occupation, and height. William Dickerson, Virginia, he's fair skin. Henry Austin, Virginia, he's brown skin. John Austin, he's fair skin. James Hill, New England, brown complexion. James Todd, he's Scottish, brown complexion. John McCoy, he's Irish, brown complexion. Lawrence Rigby, New York, he's fair complexion. All right? So we got an English guy here, he's brown, joiner, list of men out of Norfolk County, list of 17 May, 1756. All right, we got Andrew Johnson, he's 28, he's Irish, he's brown complexion. Joseph Joins, he's fair complexion. Peter Banner, he's English, he's fair complexion. Joseph Sayer, alias Garrett, he's from North Carolina, he's fair complexion. Don Carroll, Irish, Carroll's, Irish, brown complexion. Waterman. John McDonald, he's Irish, he's brown complexion. The McDonald's, brown complexion. Godfrey Hunt, he's fair complexion. Willis Parsons, he's brown complexion. John Williams, he's a Welsh, he's fair complexion. Because he had brought it, so, so brought it. Militia of Charles City County, these men were delivered to Henry Gaines by John Anderson Smith, William Thompson, John Petter, John, okay, it goes on and on, let's see. Okay, so this, I don't know why he's doing this, guys. <laughs> Bear with me. Okay, we got a list of men of Westmoreland County, and this is 25 May 1756. Listed by Major Martin. And this gave the name, the age, the nativity, the complexion, the occupation, and the height. So we got Thomas Tungate, Virginia, he's brown complexion. Joseph Edson, he's from Virginia, he's brown complexion. Nicholas Kissonberry, Kissonberry, he's from Virginia, he's brown complexion. Humphrey Kissonberry, he's also from Virginia, brown complexion. John Wilkerson, Virginia, brown complexion. Richard Harmon, Virginia, brown complexion. George Wilkerson, Virginia, brown complexion. Richard House, from England, fair complexion. Hopkins Burden, from Virginia, dark complexion. Buddy Rowe, he's from Virginia, he's dark complexion as well. Edward Grainer, 24, he's English, he's fair complexion. John Worrell, he's from Virginia, dark complexion. John Selby, he's English, dark complexion. 
English, Tom May, Irish, dark, he's a planter, right? So on and so on. Okay. We got some more right here. Down here it says, role of Captain David Bell's company. The role gave the enlistment date, place, age, size, trade, country, and description. So it begins with Thomas. It's Thomas Ferguson. He's from Williamsburg. He's a soldier. He's Scottish. And he's brown with dark brown hair. He's brown with dark brown hair and pitted with smallpox. Hmm. Smallpox. Who got smallpox? We got John Peter. He's a weird, he's English, he's dark with black hair. All right, Robert Bassett. He's English, he's dark with swarthy black hair. Francis Ryan. He's a butcher, he's Irish, he's dark and swarthy with black hair. He's dark and swarthy. I mean, <laughs> how else are you going to, what are you going to conclude with this, guys? Tom, be straight up with me. All right, it's Francis Ryan. He's Irish, and he's dark and swarthy, with black hair. So where's the, where's the red hair? Where's the blue eyes? Where's the fair skin? The red hair? Where's all that? I right, he's Irish. Also, you thought all Irish look like that, huh? Charles Scott, Carpenter, Virginia. He's dark and swarthy with black hair and slim name. David Hartwell, Carpenter, Virginia, dark and swarthy, <laughs> dark and swarthy. <laughs> Jacob Morris. He's from Virginia, dark and swarthy, Edward Land. Now remember, he's all people of dark complexion, so-called Negro people, right? So-called black people, right? Now, are any of these people that are from the States being labeled slaves? Right? They're planters, carpenters, shoemakers, whatever, you know. They're not slaves. But these are free people of color, right? These will be considered free people of color. Okay? And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Jacob Morris. He's from Virginia. Dark as far too. He's slim. Edward Land. Virginia. Dark with dark brown hair. Aaron Sweeney. He's from Virginia. Dark with dark brown hair. Joseph Howard. He's a soldier. English. Dark and swarthy. Flat nose. <laughs> a flat nose. Dark and swarthy. William Holland. He's from Virginia. He's dark and swarthy. John Denochi. Gardener, Irish. He's fair, with light colored hair. All right, very descriptive, right? John Dinoki is actually fair. Daniel McFain, he's a planner, he's Scottish. He's fair too, with light colored hair. All right, we got so called white people here, maybe. All right, Whitner Warner, schoolmaster, Irish. Irish, he's fair, with light colored hair. Robert Jeeves, he's from, he's English, he's fair, with light colored hair. All right, and so on. So, you know, it's not just. Dark complexion here, all right? Robert Jeets, he's English, fair, with light hair. William Smith, he's English, fair. Edward Childs, English, fair. James Thomas, he's from Virginia, he's darkish. He's darkish with dark brown hair. Philip Cofield, he's a Dutch, he's fair skin. Bernard Watt, he's a Dutch, but he's dark and swarthy with black hair. So they're not talking about that hair, guys, because he is... <laughs> Again, let's, let's, let's do this. We got a black dust here, right? So called black dust. Did you guys watch my Sephardic videos? Did you guys watch my Sephardic more, uh, pirate, Huguenot, the Dutch? Who were the Dutch? Who were the, really the Dutch? Where were the Sephardics going when they got kicked out? Where was their New Jerusalem? You guys, let's not forget this. Holland, Dutch, Amsterdam was the New Jerusalem. They were, there were so many more Sephardic people of color there. In, 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 in Holland, right? That example right here, Bernard Ward, all right? He's, da, he's Dutch, dark and swarthy with black hair. John Dowie, Planner, Virginia, dark and swarthy with black hair. George Eagleburg, Planner, Virginia, fair with light hair. Okay. Edward Harper, English, fair with light hair. James Thompson, English, fair with dark colored hair. Peter Mullen, he's a sailor, he's Irish, he's fair with ruddy colored hair. Inclined to red, here we go. And Irish with red hair almost. Here we go. John Collins, English, but he's dark with dark brown hair. William Smith, 
He's just saying it. He's saying he's dark with dark brown hair. John Williams, English, swarthy with dark brown hair. He's English, but he's swarthy. So swarthy. Can I get a so swarthy? What's Kiowa at? You sleeping, Kiowa? All right. <laughs> James Clark or John Williams, English, swarthy with dark hair. James Clark, English, swarthy with dark brown hair. Swarthy as well. English, the Europeans being called swarthy people. Come on. Moses Johnson, Atlanta, Virginia. Black as a mulatto with black hair. Black as a mulatto. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> black as a mulatto. Alright? Would that be a possible Indian? Could it be? William Colbert, Westmoreland. Atlanta, he's Scotch. He's Fairskin. James Hooper, Weaver, English. Lawrence Johnston, he's Irish. He's Fairskin. Samuel Cummins. Bricklayer, he's from Virginia. He's swarthy and much freckled. He's swarthy with freckles. He's dark skinned with freckles. He's a so called black man with freckles. Alright? Thomas Toole, English, fair and light hair. Charles Travis, a planner. He's Scottish. He's swarthy. A Scottish, swarthy, brown hair, pitted with blemish and right eye. Very descriptive. Alright? John Waters, he's from, he's English, he's dark, all right? Benjamin Rogers, he's from Nansamon, he's from Virginia, he's dark. Richard Hines, Virginia, dark and swarthy, with very black hair. Dark and swarthy, and very black hair. James Young, he's a merchant, all right? Who was the merchant, guys? Who was the merchant? You guys know already, right? You've been watching my videos? Who's the merchant, who was doing all the trade? Who had the commerce? Who was in the ships? Who had the whole network? Scottish, fair, ruddy, and much pitted with smallpox. Philip Childress, Cumberland, Carpenter, Virginia, dark and swarthy, dark hair, slim made. David Collins, sailor, he's Irish, fair with dark brown hair and much freckles. Charles Bruce, planner, Scottish, brown with dark brown hair, has a swelling in the knees. Don Penmore. He's an English. He's jello counters with light hair, jello man. Edward Austin, Taylor, English, fair with dark hair. John Hooper, he's Irish. He's swarthy with dark hair. Swarthy. Joshua Williams, he's from Virginia. He's swarthy with dark hair and much freckled. James Turner, he's from Virginia. Dark with dark hair and well made. David Bailey, Chesterfield, shoemaker, Virginia. Fair with light hair and handsome name. John Cotter, October 1755. Remember, we're basically in the 1700s mostly. He's about 5'7". He's a planner. He's Irish. And he's dark with black hair. Has a wiggle in his walk. He has a little wiggle in his walk, all right? He, he walks like with a wiggle. He's dark complexion. Irish that walks with a wiggle, all right? Edward Canifax, planner of Virginia. He's dark and swarthy with black hair and his flat nose. Flat nose, it's not pointy, it's not hooked, it's a flat nose. And he's dark and swarthy. James Turner, Planner, Maryland, fair with brown hair. Okay, Let's see what we got here. We got John Fitzpatrick, he's Irish, black, short hair, well made. We got Ben Spicer. Brown, short hair. All right, so now they're describing the hair. So in this one, I again, this is just another little example of what they do. Um, okay, so I guess if they didn't have the complexion, they just named the hair, or they just didn't put it. Okay, so maybe this one's like uh, John Rimishaw, says Virginia, he's brown, comma, straight hair, is stutters. English, large bushy head, with most horrid aspect. Oh, William Hook. An Englishman with large, bushy head. With a large, bushy head. What does that mean? How do we take that? How do we interpret that? How do we interpret that, right? Bushy hair. So, do we consider Europeans, you know, the ones that, you know, white, you know, do we think of them as having bushy hair? Large, bushy hair. John Lovett, planner, he's from Virginia. Very swarthy, long black hair. John Lovett. Again, any of these could be your ancestors. Ezekiel Ishan. He's from Akuma. 
He's from Virginia. He's fair complexion, remarkably impudent. Fat Latin. He's Irish. Long black hair, full face. He got long black hair. He's Irish. Dumb Downey. He's English. Black hair. Richard Gaddis, Virginia. Brown straight hair. Ben Jenkins, Virginia. Full face. All right? And so on and so on. And the next one. All right, let's get this one. James Bryan drafted. He's from Virginia. He's dark haired, thin face. All right, Virginia brown hair, black eyes. Let me see if we can sound good here. We're talking about hairs here. Now I'm from Virginia. All right. Again, different types of roles, different types of uh, rosters describing different things. Not all of them have the complexion, some of them are different. All right. Some of them describe like if they have a scar on their nose, if their nose is pierced or it's cut, things like that. Long straight black hair, you know, freckles. In this case. Okay, so we got it's the role of Captain Thomas Cook's company. This is from 1756. What this role shows is the date of enlistment, the place, the age, the size, the trade, the country, and the description of the person. Henry William, right? He's from Frederick, uh, Ireland. He's light brown hair and yellow complexion. John Reynolds, so very descriptive, right? John Reynolds, he's a merchant. He's yellow complexion. He's from Virginia. John McWilliams, he's a merchant. He's from Virginia. He's also fair complexion. He's fond of liquor. <laughs> James Thomas, fair complexion. George Clark Corp, I hair. Well made, pitted with smallpox, very talkative. All right, so in this in this example, we got some uh, light skinned people, right? John Grant, he's a drummer. He's from Ireland. He's dark haired, very much pitted with smallpox, right? So who's getting smallpox? Wasn't the Indians getting smallpox too? All right, Francis Allen, farmer, England, dark colored hair, yellow complexion. John Beard, he's from England, red haired, with freckles. All right. So again, we do, as I want to show you guys, we do have descriptions of people that may, you know, we can consider being actual white people, what we call it white, right? James Donaldson, he's from Scotland, dark brown hair, again, smallpox. Thomas Edwards, like hair, yellow complexion. Daniel Gowen, Canada from Virginia, like colored hair, long thin visage. Thomas Hudson, he's from England. Dick said he's ruddy complexion. John Hamilton, he's from Ireland, dark brown hair, very ruddy, very ruddy complexion, very ruddy complexion. Charles Johnston, Flannery, Virginia, dark, dark bush hair. Okay, dark bush hair, very fond of spirit, spiritual liquor. Hmm. Henry Moxon, seaman, he's from England, light colored hair, yellow complexion. James Marsh, seaman, England, dark brown hair, dark complexion. Okay, England, dark complexion. England. Dark complexion. Martin May 6, January 1735. He's from Amelia. Uh, he lived in Amelia, but he's of Irish. He's dark colored hair. A girl fell and knocked me his large teeth before. <laughs> Paul Kuan. Kuan. He's of Irish. Dark colored hair. Fair complexion. Matthew, Matthew Robot. Ro Robotham. Tanner from Virginia. Dark complexion. Simple countenance. William Soldier. He's from England, dark hair, thin visage, very wrinkled, slender maid. And then we got Alexander Stewart, alright? What do you guys know about the Stewarts of Scotland? Who, what is, so isn't King James a Stewart? On the Stewarts of the Highlands of Scotland, on they known and historically proven to be people of color. Alexander Stewart, Scotland, light brown hair, dark complexion. Dark complexion, right? And it keeps going. Davis Sullivan, he's from Ireland, sandy hair. Thomas Simpson, County Town is light hair, more supple, Irish, dark hair, dark complexion, Irish, dark complexion, dark complexion. Peter Truly, Ireland, very ruddy complexion. Henry Farron, he's from England, red complexion. John Wade, he's from England, dark complexion, England, dark complexion. Dick said, villainous countenance, he's a, he has a villainous countenance, he's dark complexion, with a villainous countenance, they said. 
William White, Planner, Scotland, gray haired and thin visage, Don Williams, Wales, dark haired, pitted with the smallpox, Robert Walters, he's a planner from Scotland, he has red hair very much freckled, William Austin, schoolmaster, England, he's very dark, he's dark complexion, from England, John Bass, Bassett, Scotland, black haired, ruddy complexion, pitted with smallpox, Samuel Butcher, planner from Virginia, fair complexion, freckled, round shoulder, James Boswell, Weaver from Ireland, light hair, fair complexion. John Carwick from Ireland, dark complexion. John Carwick, Ireland, dark complexion. John Lee, planted from Virginia, dark hair, very wrinkled forehead, black eyes. Thomas Hall, shoemaker from England, dark brown hair, very well made. Richard Cornelius, he's from Ireland, he's dark hair and complexion. He's dark. Complexion, Richard Cornelius, Ireland. All right, are you guys trying to see the, the pattern, the trends? Payroll of Captain Thomas Cookies Company, John Reynolds, Henry Williams. All right, so there's some names. All right, so attempt. again, those are just examples. They didn't always have the description, they just had the name. All right, we got some more right here. John Connor, John Connor, from the Terminator. Pennsylvania. He's a hunter. He's dark. He's dark. Don Connor's dark. William Summers. He's from New England. He's dark. Dark complexion. Cornelius Henley. He's from Pennsylvania. He actually he's Irish. And he's dark complexion. Richard Rice, Pennsylvania. Dark complexion. Coldo Logan. Ireland. Dark complexion. Dark. Patrick Hughes, Ireland, dark complexion. Thomas Dyer, he's from England, he's fair. All right, they know what a fair complexion person and a dark complexion looks like. They named it, they described it, they wrote it down. David Davison, England, he's fair complexion. Alexander Turnbull, he's a soldier, he's from Ireland, and he's fair. Timothy Toll. He's from Maryland. He's fair. Thomas White. He's England. He's dark. His name is White, but he's dark. And he's from England. He's dark complexion. He's well set. Richard Posey. He's a farmer from Maryland. He's fair. Henry Francis. He's from Virginia. Actually, Maryland. He's dark complexion. George Jackson. He's from England. Fair. John Moore. Ireland. Fair. Oh, Moore. Fair. Moore. So everybody does Moore. It's not. It's not. It's not that dark, right? Again, we don't always got to take fair as white. That could just be a very light skin, dark skin person, right? Again, a lot of this all is conjecture, right? But we already know based on the information that we got. We already know the true history. So this is just more correlation. This is just more proof of what we've been researching. Richard Davis, Maryland Fair, Stroud Lusty, Fresh Colored, Matthew Foley, Maryland Fair, Thin Spirit, Mordecai Grossman. He's well said, Rob Bones. Henry Reese, he's a soldier, he's from Germany, he's fair. Thomas Hammond, he's from Maryland, he's stout and lusty. Jeremiah Hurley, he's a weaver. He's Irish and he's dark complexion, tender guy. Patrick Constantine, he's from uh, Maryland, he's fair. Edward Truly Constantine, he's from Maryland, he's fair as well. Francis Brothers, the Francis, or oh, Brothers, I guess that's the guy's name. He's from Maryland, he's well said, he's fair. William Ashby. Uh, he's from England. He's dark, dark complexion, stout and well set. James Barnett. He's fair complexion, hardy, well set. William Stockstill. He's from Maryland. He's dark complexion. Cornelius Chapman. All right. He's from uh, Maryland. He's dark complexion and well set. Abraham Whitaker. He's fair complexion. All right. We got Isaac Whitaker. He was a hunter from Maryland, he's fair complexion, John Jacob Peter Grammer. He's from Germany and he's dark complexion. Alright? Dark complexion. Now I want to show you something real, real, real quick. Let me see if I got it here. Spirit with me. If we're talking about uh, dark complexion burns. One second, guys. 
go from right back to this. Okay. I found this today doing somebody's genealogy. I found this today doing somebody's genealogy. Okay. And if I were to be doing this person's genealogy of a relative which had the same name, I would have never found this record. All right. Now, I want you to take a very close look at what this says here. All right. Miley Davis, she's a female, raised black, she's a slave, birthplace, Germany, birthplace, Germany, you guys see that? You guys see that? Alright, so, do we have to rethink a little bit about what we thought about our families? I, I you know, I'm, this is not to say, you know, you were wrong, you're not just this, but... Maybe this is something you can value and add and be proud of. Like, oh man, maybe I do come from this. I, mean, I have ancestors like this. Maybe I, do, maybe I am a steward from, from the highlands of Scotland. Maybe I do have royal blood. Maybe they did take over Europe and whitewashed it too. Not just in America or the rest of the world. You know? But again, this was from today. And I'm just going to go back. I just want to show you guys this. Because we, we just saw a dark skin uh, German. Alright. Go back. And I appreciate everybody uh, tuning in that's in here. Everybody here. Support everybody that's in here. That's a teacher that has a YouTube channel. Thanks for being here. Um, you know, again, this ain't about competition. This ain't about beefing all the time. Fighting. Um, just for views, entertaining, being like the Jerry Springer of the Aboriginal community, having people on your panel just to fight. You know, there's kids watching. There's a lot of people actually trying to learn from you guys. You guys should chill. You guys should at least do some, you know, put some informative uh, information out there. And if somebody's messing with you, ignore them. Ignore them. You don't need to retaliate. You just ignore them and watch them fade away. Trust me, I do it all the time. Isaac Whitaker, he's from Maryland. He's fair. John Jacob Peter Grammer, he's from Maryland. He's Germany again, dark, right? John Christoph Tooth, Maryland, German. He's dark skinned too. Henry, Henry Jefferson, he's from Maryland. He's fair skinned, so that going. He's uh, from Maryland. He's very dark, stout, well said. He's very dark, Sada going. John Davidson, Baltimore, dark, Thomas Brown. He's from Maryland. He's dark complexion. Thomas Pritchard. He's from Pennsylvania. He's fair. Robert Craighead. He's from uh, Maryland. He's dark complexion. Guess Vaughn. He's from uh, Maryland. He's fair. James Lynch. He's Irish. He's dark complexion. James Lynch. Future video. All right. Future video. If you guys thought the Lynches were actually. White people, you know, you thought that was all white people do. Oh. Well, what I've come to learn is that a lot of these lynchers were people of color in these times. And they had farms, and they were from, they were free people of color. You know? Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, we gotta, we, there's a lot that we're about to learn, guys. There's a lot that's about to come out. We're just scratching the surface here. Right? And I think if we, do it together if we can just, you know, put whatever differences we have aside and just go with the info, go with the truth. I think we can come together and actually be a team. You know, I, I, you know, I work with a lot of people researching, doing things. We work together. You know, it's, all, it's about truth. It's not about who puts out info first, you know, who brought this out first, who shared this first, you know, who, who's doing heavyweight bills, supposedly, you know, all that stuff. You know, it's all entertainment and it's just trying to get your viewership and at the end hit that cash ad you know hit that cash ad you know it's you know all right this is real history right here this is real info real sources real history here real information that can help you grow and build all right thomas pritchard pennsylvania fair again james lynch irish star john little he's from maryland he's fair robert priestwell He's from Maryland, he's dark complexion. John Hall, Maryland, fair complexion. Samuel Sanders, Maryland, fair complexion. Thomas Hudson, 
He's from England. He's fair complexion. All right. Space. Okay, we reached the end of this. Hold up. I got another one. <laughs> one second. Okay. Just uh, real quick. Again, this is a little break in between. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Alright, hope you guys are enjoying this. Again, this image right here that I got right here is actually supposed to be a depiction of Crispus Atops. I did a video about him too. That's part seven of my From Indigenous American to African American series, part seven. I broke it down who Crispus Atops was, half Indian, all right? He was half Indian, and then they try to say that he's half slave, so-called half slave, half Negro, and they want to imply African. But he might be a dark skinned European. He might be a regular indentured servant. He might be from another so-called Indian that is being labeled Negro. So there's a lot. We got to look at every possibility, okay? Just wanted to, you know, to emphasize that. All right, let me get the other folder up in a second. <laughs> Again, we live. In between, let me just if you guys are enjoying. Just give me a second here. So I have to just download. <laughs> While I'm doing this, guys, I'm uploading the pictures from my phone to my drive. It's taking forever. And then I got to download it. While I'm live, you know, I'm putting it in a folder so I can present it to you guys. You know, it's okay. We multitasking here. I just want to give a big shout out to all the music producers uh, who have sent me beats. Um, Joseph Levels, Maniac Beats, um, Almond, Deliman. Uh, man. Antonio, thank you for getting you. Um, Breeze 3000, Breeze 3000. All right, those are some those are levels. Those are just some of the producers. If I miss you, you know, I'm not not because I don't want to mention it, because I can't remember right now. <laughs> but yeah, those are the main ones usually that send me beats. I want to give a big shout out to them. Thank you, brothers, for that. I appreciate it. All right. We got Samuel Sanders. He's from Baltimore, Maryland. He's fair. Thomas Hudson. He's from England. He's fair. Peter Williams. He's fair. Complexion. Oh. Let me just put this down a little bit. All right. John Carpenter. Maryland. He's fair. Akila Wilson. Maryland. He's dark complexion. Samuel Wilson. He's from Maryland, dark complexion. William Talbot, Maryland, dark complexion. John Cliff, Mar he's from England, dark complexion. John Barrett, he's from Ireland, he's dark complexion. Minor, he was a miner. Most likely, that man, he was an adventure servant working in the mine. They sent him over here. Most of the people who went to mines, these were one of the worst jobs or places to go work or, or do your indentured servitude. 
A lot of the times that was not by choice. A lot of the times people being sent was, you know, the people who were considered the worst off or convicts, criminals, people they just didn't care about. They just kind of like almost definitely treated and was being used almost like a slave. Uh, in these mines, you know, a lot of hard work. Again, he's Irish, he's dark complexion. John Hudson from England, dark complexion. Asile Stewart, he's from Maryland, dark complexion. We got the plug, that's right. That's right, Blazer. Shout out to Blazer and everybody in the chat. I thought Sunu Edge, my boy right there, Mizak, the realest one. <laughs> I ain't never gonna forget that, Mizak. War Chief, Red Lion, Peace, Tayapua, Color Bell, Thoth, Thoth Evoca. Thanks for being here once again, Dutch, BD Day, Empress Infinite. I think I saw Tasha Shi earlier. Thank you for being here, Ricky Rex. Return to Pachamama, Hermosa Shiba, Jesus Live, yeah? Ricky Rax, J9, Shayla, Return. All right, let me see Tawana Clark, thank you for being here. Orlando Williams, all right, and so on and so on. There's so many of you guys right now. All right, we got 300 people in the house. I just, I didn't realize, I, just, I wasn't really looking at the screen. Thank you for being here. Thomas Seal. Hmm. Uh oh, got that. Who's that? Hmm. Thomas C. of Maryland. He's Tony complexion and raw bone. Francis Moreland. He's from Virginia. He's fair. He has a likely scarlet for it. Thomas Wright. He's from England. He's fair. Francis Walker. He's from England. He's fair. John Fraser. He's from Scotland. And he's pale skin. All right. Scotland pale skin. All right. They let you know. Straight up, describing it in detail, so you have no doubt. James Rawls, fair and freckled with yellow hair. William McPherson, he's a planner, Scotland, brown complexion, thick and well made. Henry Champion, from Virginia, brown complexion, with much disfigured with small pox. Hmm. John Cockerell, Virginia, Indian mixture, well made, Indian mixture. John Clemens, Virginia. Ruddy complexion, a sly look, loves to drink. Benjamin Cotton, New England, he's ruddy, well made in merry disposition. In a merry disposition, he's always happy. James Dacres, he's from England, brown complexion, a funny, cringing behavior. Joseph Boston, he's from Virginia, one black haired and well made. Hmm, what that man. Fair Joseph Price, Virginia, fair complexion, dumb dudding. He's from England. His brown complexion stoops as he walks. We got William Waters. His brown complexion. He stoops. James Haynes, Virginia, ruddy, pitted with the pox. James Hill, New England. He's pale skin. William Warden, from Virginia. He's pale. No, actually. Really more than his brown complexion and a cl clownish look. Now that's messed stuff. Now why are you trying to clown this guy just because he has a clownish look? Come on. William Morden, I'm sure you didn't have a clownish look. <laughs> brown complexion. Joseph Bedwood. Virginia Pell. John Key. Virginia. Long visage and queer face. Hey, I didn't say it. And then we got William Williams. A planner, Virginia. He's a Negro, really. Now, what does this mean? Hmm. Bernard Cole, soldier, Irishman, fair complexion. Jesse Jones, Isaac was white, draft, Smith, Virginia, Irishman, fair complexion, likely. Thomas Cook, he's from uh, England, he's dark complexion, a merry disposition. William Parks, fair, oh. James Davis, he's from Ireland, he's fair, Alex Wiley, he's from England, he's fair, pitted with smallpox, we got John Kelly, he's Irish, dark complexion, John Kelly, from Ireland, dark complexion.
Then we got Robert Pullen, England, dark, thick, dark, thick and clumsy. John Roser, he's from Virginia, he's pale and gray-headed. Michael Delock, he's a planner from Virginia, yellow, thin face and homely. Don Ferguson, he's from Scotland, he's a drummer and he's brown complexion. James Buckridge, he's from Virginia, fair and ill-made. William Fear, labor of Virginia, brown and well-made. Peter Bevan, labor, Virginia, slender, not neat. William Thompson, he's from Virginia, black eyes. William O'Connor, Taylor, Irish, ruddy and well-made. William Deere, Irish, brown complexion and heavy look. Samuel Walden, a planner from Virginia, fair and slim. All right. We got Abraham Crittenden, actually, sorry. We got, oh, okay, this is the role of Captain Charles Lewis Company. From 1756, role signed by Peter Steenberg, Lieutenant. What we see here is the name, the date, and the place of enlistment, age, height, occupation, country, and description. All right, so that's what they're going to show us here. All right, where were we? <laughs> Charles Calliox. He's from, he's actually French. He's ruddy with dark brown hair. A French guy, Abraham Crittenden. He's from Virginia, he's ruddy. James Carson, he's from England, he's brown complexion. Samson Franklin, he's from Virginia, brown complexion. John Hardwood, he's English, brown and dark brown hair. Thomas Evanson, he's from Virginia, fair. Ezekiel Richardson, he's English, he's also fair. William Warren. He's Irish. He's fair complexion as well. John Anderson. Scotch. He's actually swarthy, though, with black hair. A Scotch who's swarthy with black hair. John Anderson. Do you have the Anderson surname? Okay, you thought that that was like a European name you had? And it was so-called white Europeans, you thought? Mm -hmm. Actually, there's an Anderson right here who's swarthy. 1755. Reuben Harris, Virginia, fair with brown hair. William Tyrus, Virginia, ruddy with sandy hair. John Flowers, he's English, he's brown complexion with brown hair. William Nickel, he's English, fair with light hair. Thomas Gardner, he's English, brown complexion with dark brown hair. All right, and English with dark brown hair, dark skin, or brown skin. William Burford, carpenter from Virginia, he's brown complexion, brown hair. John Meggs, Virginia, brown complexion, brown hair. All right. And it keeps going. George Perkins, Virginia, ruddy. William Browntree, Virginia, fair. William Barnett, Virginia, brown with brown hair. Shippet Howard, shoemaker. He's from Virginia. He's brown complexion. John Austin, he's from Virginia. He's fair with dark hair. Joseph Jones, he's from Virginia, he's also fair. Alexander Basford, he's a planner from Virginia, he's fair. Richard Harmon, he's from Virginia, he's brown complexion, brown hair. Nicholas Quisenberry, he's a, from Virginia, he's brown complexion and brown hair. Joseph Edsford, he's from Virginia, brown hair, complexion with light hair. Francis Thomas, from Virginia, brown complexion, dark hair, well linked. John Hendren, he's from Virginia, he's dark complexion, and he has dark hair. Thomas Little, he's from Virginia. He's brown complexion with brown hair. George Palmore, he's from Virginia. He's fair skinned with dark hair. John Harris, he's from Virginia. He's swarthy with light brown hair. Jacob Crouch, he's swarthy. He's from Virginia. And he's swarthy with gray hair. John Laughlin, from Virginia. He's fair with fair hair. Edward Laughlin. All right, he's from Virginia, fair. Edward Laughlin, I'm sorry. Virginia, so James Radcliffe, English, he's pale, with brown hair. Charles Smith, Carpenter, Virginia, fair, with fair hair. So you know how they label him pale? Now, they're making a distinguish between James Radcliffe and Charles Smith. Charles Smith is fair, James Radcliffe is pale. He's even, even more lighter, right, even more. So even even with even with the light skin or even if this even if it is so called white people, they have their different shades too. Right? Or again, we don't know if they're when they say fair, 
they could also they could also be talking about a dark skinned person that's just fair, right? Light skin. It also could be a darker maybe, uh, if not pale, you know, person. But again, the only way to know is to do your genealogy. You don't know if that's your ancestor or not, and then you correlate other things to see, right? Because fair sometimes you know could be things, but they're again describing people as fair, brown, dark, farty. They're making distinctions, you know. It's not just a bunch of so-called white people, you know. All right, Thomas Eaton. Wait, Thomas Eaton. Hmm. Uh-oh. You guys don't even know why I'm saying this. Okay. This is a spoiler. Spoiler alert. I got a future video, Web Du Bois. All right, we have the boys on the Bugard side, on his mom's side, the Bugards. They were called the Black Bugards of Great Barrington, Massachusetts. They were there for like almost a hundred years, sign, a couple generations. All right, so they say that the Black Bugards started out with this guy, guy named Tom Bugard, who was owned by the Eatons, Eaton, the Eaton family, Thomas, and he was in the American Revolutionary War. This Thomas, e so finding this right here is very interesting to me. I'm going to follow up on this. Thomas Eaton, Bricklayer, he's English and he's swarthy, an English swarthy Eaton. Hmm. So they say that uh, the boys' ancestors were brought or bought, brought from Africa or somehow by the Eatons. I found no proof of it. And how, why would a, a one family bring one servant from Africa, go all the way to Africa to pick up one servant and then come to America? It just doesn't make sense. And we know it's false history. So, on top of that, we know. We know they're just making things up. I, I think I found Thomas Eaton. I really do. I'll see. Francis Kingston. You know, I'm reading this for the first time with you guys, because I took pictures, I, you know, I haven't read all of that, I just took pictures and I'm reading it with you. All right, Nathaniel Stevenson. Barbara Scott, fair, fair hair, pot picket. <laughs> Let me just look at the chat real quick. Hands line, okay, <laughs> I remember, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, you guys are, uh, you guys are entertaining yourself. Go ahead and keep doing that. I like when you guys interact with each other. Francis Kingston. He's a Virginian. He's fair skinned. Nathaniel Stevenson was a barber of Scottish. He's fair, okay. Then we got, um, let's see what here down right here. We got a description. Okay, we got Andrew Vaughn. He's from Virginia. He's well made. He's swarthy complexion. Okay. Got Charles Smith. He's from Virginia. He's fair. Hmm. We got Thomas Eden. Okay, that's the same thing we just read. Sorry about that. So we got John Dender down here. He's from Holland. He's from the Maiden. Fair complexion. Henry Carrier. He's from England. We got Joseph Wills from England. Doesn't really say much. Thomas Alberry. Thin face. Effect. Effeminate. Effeminate voice. Oh man, I didn't say that. <laughs> William Jenkins, he's from Ireland, swarthy complexion, all right, William Jenkins, again, 5'11", he's from Ireland, he's swarthy complexion, large beard, Christopher Best, Nancy Mont, Virginia, dark complexion, slender maid, all right, he's a planter, I thought everybody who was dark complexion during this time was a slave, Aaron Paul, he's from England, Fair complexion with dark beard. Burton Hickman, he's a planner from Virginia. Fair complexion. Obadiah Fogg, he's from Virginia. Fair complexion. James Smith, fair complexion. Anthony Stilts, he's from Holland. John Johnston, from England. Dark complexion. John Johnston, England. Dark complexion. Dark complexion. Edward Freeman, he's from Virginia. And he's fair complexion. 
but he's a free man. All right. Now you interpret that. Now how how are you gonna interpret that? You tell me. Right? You tell me how you're gonna interpret that. I wanna know how you interpret the six one Virginia guy who's a free man, he's fair complexion. So how do we interpret this? He's a free man. Free man? I thought only I thought only only slaves got free men or were free men. Right? Henry Emerson, England, dark complexion, Anthony Kennedy, Ireland, fair complexion, Patrick McDonald. He's from Ireland, he's fair. Thomas Carrier, England, fair complexion. Ephraim Pope, Virginia, fair complexion. Okay? David Rawls, from England, fair complexion. Edward Baldwin, Virginia, brown complexion. William Brock, he's Irish, fair complexion. Humphrey Christenberry, he's, he's from Virginia, dark complexion. Nathaniel Fashi, he's from Virginia, fair complexion. On command, have appealed. Tongue. Okay, so these are the people in charge. Down here, it says, Roll of Captain Robert Mackenzie's company in 1756. Roll gave name, place of enlistment, age, height, country, and description. We start with James Robertson. All right, he's Scottish. He's ruddy complexion. And pitted with the smallpox. James Hadfield, he's English. He's brown complexion, but is most inclined to the left. Oh, his mouth. Okay. John Campbell, Scottish. Brown complexion, speaks black, black curled hair. Okay. All right, now you tell me how you're going to interpret that. You got a brown complexion Scottish man with black curled hair. How you interpret that? Now, if I was to describe this without saying Scottish, I told you, hey, I got this guy, he's brown complexion, he's black, he has black curled hair. Do you think he's a so called black person? Huh? What would you say? You probably mean, yeah, sounds like it. Right? Well, he's Scottish. Oh no, no, no! He, he must not be black. They could be male. They just—they're probably talking about, you know. He's just talking. He has a tan. Well, again, that's your projection. That's what you want to believe in. You gotta prove it. John Adams. He's Scottish. Fair, with black hair. Timothy Shaw. He's Irish. He's brown complexion. Speaks black. Dark hair. A brown complexion Irishman with dark hair. Brian Page. A, a fair complexion with pleasant comments. Peter Storm. He's brown complexion. Dark, straight hair. Speaks Dutch and broken English. Dutch and broken English. He's brown complexion. Again, what? He speaks Dutch. Who's this guy? Peter Storm. Dutch. Who's brown complexion? Thomas Quinn, he's Irish, pale pitted with the smallpox, lost his finger, lost middle and third fingers of his right hand, Edward Blackburn, Virginia, brown complexion, dark hair, John Jenkins, in Pennsylvania, he's brown complexion with a scar on the left side of his nose, James Clark, he's pale skin, from Virginia, John Fulham, he's from Virginia, he's dark, dark complexion, he's from the eyes of the white, Again, doing a lot of these genealogies, I end up with a lot of people in the eyes of a white. I did a whole genealogy with somebody. Their family, I think, is still there. Or it was like the last generation when they moved. But from there to like the 1600s, they were there. They were there. And guess who was there with them? Some lady named Elizabeth uh, Drake, right? What did she turn out to be? She turned out to be the granddaughter of Francis Drake, or the great-granddaughter of Francis Drake. Yes, the actual pirate Francis Drake. All right, Francis Drake, if you guys don't know, Sephardic Jew, person of color, he was a pirate, he was navigating love, he was an explorer, so-called explorer, right, slaver, so-called slaver, but he was a person of color, Francis Drake, if you don't believe me, I'll prove it to you one day, you don't, don't try me, you know I will, William Willis, all right, hold on, we're eyes on the right, yeah, William Willis, he's from Virginia, from, also from the eyes of the right. He's dark complexion with scars in his forehead. Don Brown drafted him from the eyes of the white again. Virginia, dark again, eyes of the white. Three dark people, right? Dark complexion from the eyes of the white. Eyes of the white was a mostly person of people of color town or colony. Trust me. 
James Malone, Surrey, Shoemaker, Irish, dark, dark complexion, Irish, with a bendy knee. He's very talkative. He likes to talk. Peter Affleck, eyes on the right. He's actually pale, Scottish, light hair, speaks broad. John Donaldson, Virginia, pale, slender, very awkward. George Proctor, eyes on the right, Virginia, dark, complexion and well made. George Wainwright, from the eyes on the right again, Virginia, dark complexion, light hair and well made. George Wainwright, eyes on the right, Virginia, dark, light hair, James Whitfield, from Virginia, eyes on the right, his brown complexion, William Davis, from Virginia, pale, skin pitted, light hair, Lawrence Dilly, King George, uh, oh, he's in the King George, Holy Army, partner, Irish, brown with black hair, brown complexion with brown hair, Irish man. We got... Lawrence Dillon, Irish, brown complexion. James Riley, he's English, he's ruddy, ruddy pitted. George Shields, he's English, ruddy, brown hair. Lewis Green, windy, he's from Virginia. Brown complexion, one short leg. Thomas Gilligan, he's English, he's dark complexion. Warts on his left eye, black straight hair. John St. Clair, he's Scottish, he's dark complexion. Pitted, slender, knees, bending in, Patrick Glenn. He's Irish, he's dark complexion. Lively eyes, well made, John Thornton. He's Irish, also dark complexion, and well made, John Mulford. He's Irish, another darky Irish, straight black hair, stoop, stoop and deaf, says Thomas Bracey. Drafted Isaac of White, Virginia, dark complexion, round shoulders. John Whitfield. From Virginia, brown complexion, Jacob Bell. From Virginia, brown complexion, James Rowe. From Virginia, brown complexion, John Carroll. From Virginia, brown complexion, brown hair, Joseph Ailes. Ailes, Ailes, Prince Williams. He's English, he's ruddy. Well made, free open countenance, David Morgan. He's from Virginia, he's brown complexion, then this is slender shape. We got Thomas Brown. He's a brigade from Virginia. He's fair skinned. John Connor. We got John Connor again. Terminator here. Irish. Brown complexion. Black straight. Hair. Well made. Then we got the role of Captain Williams. Peachy's Company. This is from July 1756. The role gives the date, the place, the, the place of enlistment, the age, the high occupation, the country, and the description. So we got Ruben Bats. He's from Virginia. He's ruddy complexion. William Baker, he's from Virginia, doesn't say much. Biddy Brooks, he's a planner from Virginia, full face light hair. Josh Gaskin, he's a, from Virginia, he's swarthy complexion with black hair. Richard Gale, England, one eye out, he's brown hair. James Gutrich, he's a, he's from England, he's dark complexion, all right? England, dark complexion. Then face, Thomas Moss, he's from England, light hair. Jacob Brandt, from Virginia, very light colored hair. Patrick Finley, he's from Ireland, he's brown hair and dark complexion. Patrick Finley has brown hair and dark complexion. He's Irish though. Thomas Smith, Virginia, light hair. Uh, we're so high as I said. We got over here, uh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, me. Come on. Patrick Finley. He's from Ireland. He's brown haired and dark complexion. Oh, we already got that. We got Thomas Smith from Virginia, light hair. Edward Thompson. He's from England. Fair complexion. John Robinson. Brown haired with Roman nose. <laughs> William Marshall. He's from England. Black hair. John Jones. Virginia. Black hair. Dark complexion. Aquilo Byrne. Virginia, light colored hair, scar, scar on his left cheek. Timothy Conaway, he's from Maryland. A planter from England, William Newell, he's from Virginia, small man with brown hair. Christopher Redman, hmm, Redman, he's from Maryland, and he's a red man. In oh, actually, he's from England, light hair, red man. Henry Jefferson, planter, Virginia, long face. John Sparks, 
Landed from England, right? He ain't with Humpback. Oh, man. Jeremiah Coleman. Brown haired and thin faced. John Leland. No information for this guy. William Robinson. From Virginia. John Coffin. No information. No information. No information. Alright. Next one. We got the role of Captain Robert uh, Spoot. Spotswood Company. Well, gave the name, the place, the enlistment, the age, the height, the occupation, the country, the description. So we got Joseph Blood, Bloodo, a planner from Virginia, fair complexion. Richard Good, Virginia, brown complexion, well made, brown shoulder. Samuel Robinson, he's from Virginia, he's well made with dark hair. John Sale, he's from Virginia, well made with thick dark hair. Thick, thick dark hair. Edward Lair, he's Irish, fair complexion. James Lyle, he's from Scotland, brown complexion, well made, freckled with dark hair. Thomas Alley, he's from England, well made with black hair. William Blackley, Virginia, fair. Thomas Douglas, he's from Scotland. John Donnelly, he's from Ireland, brown complexion, dark hair. John Garland, brown shoulder with dark hair. John McDonald, he's from Scotland, well made with black hair. Andrew Walker, he's from Virginia, light hair, well made with freckled Daniel M. McKenzie, tire. Scotland, well made with scarf, cuts his left cheek. Thomas Morris, Virginia, brown shoulder, brown complexion. We got William Maynard, he's from Virginia, thick dark hair. Robert Muckleroy, he's from Ireland, spare, made with thick light hair. So a lot of times we don't got the complexion, we just got the hair uh, color. Uh, Jeremiah Port, he's from Virginia, well made, black hair, brown complexion. Richard Powers, he's from Ireland, brown complexion. William Ross, he's from Scotland, fair made with short brown hair. John Riley, he's from Ireland, brown complexion with brown hair. William Thorpe, from Virginia, he has a large scar on his left cheek with brown hair. John Boswell, he's from Virginia, well made with brown hair. William Thomas, he's from England, fair made brown hair. John Taylor, Panda from North Carolina, brown complexion with well made with brown hair. John Wright, He's a wagoner from Virginia, brown complexion, scar on his face. Edward Thorne, brown complexion, round shoulders. Richard Pike, Baker, Scotland, well made, round shoulders. John Alexander, Tanner from Virginia, well made, long brown hair. William Gilder, from Virginia, well made, short, brown hair, dark complexion. We got Edward Thorne, brown complexion from Virginia. Richard Pike, he's from Scotland, well made. Brown shoulder, John Alexander, drafted from King Williams, uh, planted from Virginia, well made, long brown hair. William Gilliam, he's um, from Virginia, and he had, he's dark complexion. William Gilliam, William Beer, he's from Virginia, he has dark complexion. Joseph Fletcher, England, thin made with light colored hair. David Groder, from Virginia, thick with short black hair, dark complexion. So he has thick and short black hair. But his thick and his dark complexion. David Broder from Virginia. William Moody, Virginia, brown complexion with brown hair. Walter Knott, Virginia, thin, spare made with long black hair. John Barrett, Taylor, Scotland, but made with scar across his eyebrow. Richard Dunn, he's from England, short, light haired, dark complexion. The Dunn's, and my wife has this in her family. She's from Jamaica, but they have Irish in them. And it's not white Irish. Dunn's. River Falls, Ocho Wheels, it was owned by one of the Duns that arrived in Jamaica, that was her ancestor. And we got the whole history, the record, we, we found it, right? And so the Duns, there's a guy I'm going to do from Louisiana, he was actually um, the head of the House of Representatives there, or the Congress there, the local Congress in uh, Louisiana, His, he was a Dun, all right, and he was Irish, I'm going to prove it to you guys, he was a black man. All right, uh, all of Louisiana, uh, two, three years after slavery, in 1868, already had an all, so-called all-black Congress in Louisiana, or how they represent it, right? You know, how did, how did they get so situated two, three years right after slavery was over? How did it just happen? So where was, the, where was all the rest? Where was the white guys that were in charge supposedly before that? They just started voting for it. Only dark skinned people? I mean, that doesn't sound very democratic. Um, so the reality is because it was always dark skinned, the majority. 
You know, and slavery didn't change anything until ah, way after. Uh, ending slavery, I mean. So John Peddler, Planner from England, Fair Complexion. Thomas Bates, England, long, light hair, Fair Complexion. The size of Raw. Thomas Deacons from Virginia, he's a ruddy complexion. He's a Mason. Edward Sparks, he's from Virginia, with black hair and swarthy complexion. But he's a planner, he ain't a slave. George Davis, from Virginia, black hair, brown complexion. Benjamin Willett, he's fair complexion. Samuel Brown, from Virginia, oval face, woman nose, light colored hair. William Cox, from England, black hair, very brown, very brown complexion. He's from England with a very brown complexion and a what? Thick beard. He has a thick beard with a very brown complexion, but he's from England. Francis Saunders. He's from Virginia. Black hair with brown complexion. And me, John Thompson. He's Irish. Sandy hair with full face, well made. Tillis Collins. He's from Virginia. Brown hair and well made. We got Peter Cram. He's Scottish. He's black hair and knees, swollen ankles. Richard Baldick. He's from Virginia. Light hair, fair complexion, well made. Owen Beasley, he's from Virginia, dark haired with brown complexion. Robert Fell, he's from England, light hair, ruddy complexion. Roger Brigman, he's from England, dark hair, thin wrinkle business, fair mink. Right? And we got John Saunders, he's from England, brown hair, pop written, pop written, well made. John Perry, he's from Wales. Brown complexion, he's from Wales. Morgan Lawson, he's from Virginia. Black hair with very dark complexion. All right, Morgan Lawson has a very dark complexion. And he's what? He's a farmer, all right? With a very dark complexion in 1755. And he's not a slave, but he has a very dark complexion. Dan Robinson, planted from Virginia. Brown complexion, well made. Will Nungeon, he's from Ireland, ruddy complexion. William Coughlin, he's from Ireland. Like here, Mr. Gray, very likely, he's pop threatened, strong. John Cole, he's from Virginia, black, bushy hair, very thick beard. All right, they're not giving us his complexion color, but very descriptive, all right? Thick hair, thick beard, bushy hair. All right, you tell me. Robert Wilson, England, dark, bushy, black hair, well made, blind in the right eye. And he's from England, and he has dark, bushy, black hair. John Buckley, Ireland, dark hair, bald headed. David Hazel, from Scotland, dark hair, brown complexion, little pot, fretting, well made. And no information on the rest of these guys, but you can see. If that's a, a surname of yours. Science role of Captain Harry Woodward's company from 1756. Role date, name, date, and place of enlistment. Age, height, trade, country, description. All right, we got Joseph Tent. He's from England. Fair complexion. William Evans. He's also from England. Fair, well said, right here. George White Cotton. He's from Virginia. James Carmichael. Scottish. Slim made, ruddy, and long nose. A ruddy and long nose. What does that mean? So he's fair, but he has a ruddy long nose. <laughs> John Scott. He's a Scottish sailor. He's brown complexion, thick and well set. John Clark. Irish. Brown. Black. Brown. Black. So brown. All right, so what are they talking about? Brown and black. Brown, black, and then hair. All right, so maybe black hair, brown complexion. Pitted with the smallpox. Abraham Masha. He's Swiss. Brown complexion, a Swiss with brown complexion. Small face, stoops much. John Jones, he's from Virginia. Brown, well said, long distance. James Cole, Virginia. Very brown face, Abraham Jones. He's in Virginia. He's from Virginia, and he's swarthy with black hair. Abraham Jones. Peter Harden, he's from Virginia. He's brown complexion. Slim May, Absalom Ames Amos. He's from England, brown complexion with with thin black hair, Joseph Cockrell, Virginia, well made, fair, John Chandler, he's from Virginia, he's brown complexion, thick and ugly, almost a mulatto, <laughs> he's almost a mulatto, but he's brown complexion, 
he's almost a mulatto. This, they're letting you straight up know that he's not as light as a mulatto. He's, he's brown complexion, but he's almost a mulatto. We got Joseph Cockrell, Virginia, well made, fair. John Chan, all right, we already got these. Uh, yep. Thomas Croxton, fair complexion. Edward Daugherty, Irish, fair complexion. John Harwood, he's from England, fair. James Mills, Scottish, brown complexion. William McCasters, he's from Maryland. Oh, actually, he's from Scottish, he's fair. Jared Rangers, he's Dutch with brown skin. Dutch with brown skin. Jared Rangers. John McKenzie, he's Scottish, he's also brown skin. Black hair, well made. Mordecai McLeod. He's Scottish. He's brown in complexion. Of course he is. Short curled hair. All right. So we got a Scottish <laughs> uh, MacLeod. All, right? All these Max, Mac, Mac. We got this on one of my Swarthy videos. A lot of these were so-called black, the black Welsh, the black Scots, the black, you know, these, these, they carry these names. All right. You see that a lot. In, in, if you have Irish, you see a lot of these names for part of the genealogy. All right. Again, remember, these might be people of color. We thought they were European, white, white Europeans. William Sandy, Virginia, brown complexion, very slim, long visage. Robert Wright, he's Irish. He's brown complexion with black hair. John Williams, he's from England. He's also brown complexion with thick and very round shoulder. James Neal, more information. James Richardson, he's from Virginia. He's brown complexion. Well made. Matt Carroll, Irish with brown, brown. Complexion, pitted with the smallpox. Simon Troy, he's Irish. He's well made and likely, <laughs> likely what? <laughs> William Dubton, he's from Virginia, he's fair. Dominic Moran, he's a planter from Virginia, he's brown complexion. Richard Murray, he's from England, brown complexion, straight hair. Marshall Pratt, he's from Virginia. Terrence McDaniel, he's from Virginia, brown and thick set. William Scatterbury, he's English, he's fair. Kent, Thomas Evans, he's from Virginia, brown complexion with a brown face. John Lurie, he's Scottish with brown complexion, well made. Thomas Jones, he's English with brown complexion, pitted with the smallpox. John Kelsey, he's Irish, brown complexion, pitted, well made, thick set. William Heath, no information, Edward Roberts, Irish, brown, dark hair, not me. Right? And we got size role of Captain Robert Stewart's troops of light horse. 30, 30 of July, 1756. Roe gave the name, the date, and the place of enlistment, age, height, trade, country, and description. David Kennedy, he's from Virginia. A merchant. Actually, he, he was in Virginia. He's Scottish. He's a Scottish merchant who's dark brown haired and pitted with smallpox. William Hughes. He's from England, dark brown hair pitted with the smallpox. William Broughton, Broughton, from Virginia, dark brown hair and ruddy. Robert Tunstall, he's black hair and ruddy. James Buchanan, Scotland, brown hair, long visage. Robert Cornelius, from Virginia, brown hair and full face. Joe Clancy, brown hair and ruddy. Thomas Rose, from Maryland, dark brown hair and swarthy. John Eleanor, he's from Germany, brown hair, full face. John Craig, he's from Ireland, light colored hair with, with white eyebrows, wow. John Huff, Maryland, black hair, very swarthy, long visage, very swarthy. He's a blacksmith, he's very swarthy, he's not a slave, and he's in Virginia in 1756 as a blacksmith. Also a soldier, James Covers, England, short brown hair, a cast in his eyes, William Marshall. He's from England, brown, full face, fresh colored. Then we got the payroll of Captain Robert Stewart's company of horsemen. Additional pay. Alexander Boyd. Okay, these are just names up here. So it says here, the role of Colonel George Washington's company. Uh, since the role gave the name, I mean, the yeah, the name, the date, the con county, the abode, or they, where they lived, age, high trade, nativity, where they were born, and description. So John Sather, he's actually from Virginia. He's fair with freckles with credit share. I, I mean, we could almost say this really sounds like a so-called white person. 
a fair freckled reddish red. Or maybe not. We don't know. Maybe not. Maybe he's just light skinned. John Belford, Ireland, brown with black curly hair, quick in speech of light with deep countenance. Peter Tooley, he's Irish, fair and well made with sandy hair. Samuel Lansworth, he's from uh, Norfolk, I guess Virginia, or oh, Jersey, it says. Well made and brown, with dark brown hair and complexion. Again, dark brown complexion. Dark brown complexion. He was a tanner. He's not a slave in the 1700s. William Stewart Packett, planter from Virginia, brown complexion, another planter from Virginia, who was not a slave because he was a planter. Simon Robinson, English, fair complexion. James Campbell, no information, Edward Whitehead, Ireland, brown with dark hair, brown complexion. Wander Hughes, Virginia, Fair with scar on the left side of his upper lip. John Hill, Taylor, he's English. He's brown complexion and hair with his right thumb broken. With his right thumb broken. Arthur Dent, he's from England. He's brown complexion and lame in his right thigh by a wound. Abel Mason, Virginia, brown complexion and hair. Thomas Knapp, he's from England, brown complexion and hair. John Nugent, he's from Ireland. He's brown complexion and blemish in his left eye with a joint little finger and a thumb shot off. Man. Francis Roberts, Virginia. He's brown complexion. Hair and lightly prisoners. Benjamin Smith. He's from England. Fair complexion. John Trigg. He's from Virginia. Complexion and hair brown. Okay, he's brown complexion from Virginia. John Robinson. He's England. Fair complexion. Thomas Brown. He's from Ireland, brown complexion and mush pitted with smallpox. Hmm. James Davis, he's Irish, sandy, reddish colored hair. We got James Davis. Oh, we got that in George Hill. He's Irish, brown complexion with black hair. Robert Nash, he's from Virginia, brown hair and complexion. Brown complexion, always in black. From Pennsylvania. Brown hair pitted with a smallpox, affected in right shoulder. John McMillan, Virginia. He's brown hair and complexion. John Robinson. He's from Scotland. He's brown complexion and dark hair. We got Lachlan McLean. He's from Scotland with also brown complexion with dark hair. All right, size scroll of Captain Mercer's company. Well, gave name, date, and place of enlistment, age, height, trade, town, country, and description. All right, so see Angus McDonald's, the seaman, Scotland, all right, black, so-called black, all right? Can I, well, how are you going to interpret that one right there? Oh, no, you know, they're not talking about black, they're talking about black as in white. Oh, really? That's what you're going to tell me, that they're talking about black as in white? And how can you prove that? Angus McDonald. I know the Max again. I said it earlier. I know the Max. All, the, all these Mac, Mac, Mac. All of these, most of these, are clans, so-called, so-called black clans of Ireland and Scotland. He's well said. Dark colored hair. Again, he has a black complexion. He's from Scotland with black complexion. All right. John Matthews, England, brown complexion. All right. John Dreamen, Virginia, fair, lusty, well said. Samuel French, Maryland, black complexion. He's a sawyer, all right? He's not a slave. He has black complexion. He's in Maryland in 1756, working as a sawyer and a soldier. Nothing about him being a slave here. John Pope, Virginia, fair, fresh look, fair hair. Benjamin Barrett, Ireland, brown complexion, large scar on the left side of his forehead. Samuel Striplin, Virginia, fair complexion. Edward Evans, he's a drummer from Scotland who's a, who has brown complexion. He's one of the drummers, the drum boys, right? Daniel Bevins, he's a sawyer from England with dark complexion. All right, an Englishman with dark complexion. Very well said, full round face, first colored. William Colston, he's from England with brown complexion and dark hair. He has a large nose, though. William, <laughs> large nose. William Bromley. Virginia, fair skin, freshly cut, fresh colored, well looking. 
John Henchman. He's from Virginia with black complexion. And he's a carpenter, right? All right. We got John Henchman again, 1754. Slavery is supposedly not over, right? Nothing about him being a free man or colored troops or nothing like that. But he is black complexion. He's a carpenter in Virginia in 1754. Duncan Murray. Oops. Seaman, he's from Scotland. He's brown complexion, right? With dark hair. Joseph Morris, Virginia, dark complexion, straight black hair, simple look. John Edwards, from Virginia, fair. Andrews Long, fair, stoops in his shoulders and has a Roman nose. Ignatius Edwards, Maryland, fair. All right, Henry Neville, he's a planter from Virginia with brown complexion, and dark skin, and snuffles. So he has a brown complexion with dark skin. I mean, that's not going to get any more descriptive right there. And he has snuffles, all right, just in case. You see him. If you see somebody with snuffles, that's him. Archibald Walker. He's from Scotland. With a dark complexion, smooth face, short, curled hair. A dark complexion, another dark complexion Scottish person with curled hair. Speaks upon the brog, whatever that means. Matthew Neely. He's a carpenter from Ireland with, I believe, said brown complexion. And then Samuel Strickland from Virginia Fair complexion. Edward Evans, who's a drummer, Scotland, brown complexion. Daniel Bevins from England, dark complexion. England, dark complexion. Very well said. Full round face, fresh color. William Colston, brown complexion. With dark hair, thin on the crown, large nose. William Bromley, Virginia. Fair skin. John Hedgeman from Virginia, black complexion. And what is he? He's a carpenter in Virginia, 754. He's not a slave. He's black complexion. And he's a carpenter. Duncan Murray, a seaman from Scotland, brown complexion. Joseph Morris, carpenter from Virginia, dark complexion. Stay here, John Edwards, plant from Virginia. Fair complexion, Ambrose Long from Virginia, fair. Complexion, he stoops. Ignatius Edward. Carpenter from Maryland. Fair complexion, Henry Neville. He was a planter from Virginia. Brown complexion, dark skin. It's not all cat, you know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm reading this double. Sorry about that. You guys didn't tell me. Come on. Oh, okay, you know what it is? We've reached the end of today's presentation, guys. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of reading. You know, it's a little late for me, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Honestly, I hope you guys, because uh, uh, this is just part one. I'm gonna do the uh, rest of the book. You know, it doesn't matter how many parts. We'll, we'll, we'll read all the descriptions uh, here. All right, so yeah. talk to you guys real quick. So, what do you guys think about this? All right, I mean, are we just gonna keep? Trying to figure out if are we really talking about black Europeans? Could these people really be in our family? Could we really have these ancestry? Only way you can find out is by doing your genealogy and and and, and emptying your cup. You gotta empty your cup. You think you knew? Yeah, we we found out. You know, it was an African that they were bringing in over here. You know, we found out it was an African that were coming over here. So yeah, automatically, I even me assumed, you know, well, everybody had to have been here. All so-called black people. But what I'm finding now, the reality is something else, right? And, 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 and I've been trying to like show different correlations, different sources, different, show you different material correlations so you guys can see what I'm, what I'm trying to tell you. And just finding this book, confirming everything, I mean, you know, I mean, to me, that's a great spirit. To me, it's just, they can't stop this. You know, they can't stop this. You guys understand what we're doing here, right? We're rewriting history. This ain't mainstream yet. This ain't mainstream yet. Help me make it mainstream. You guys can help me make it mainstream. Let's make this main, mainstream. You know, because, you know, well, as soon as it does become mainstream, somebody there's going to be problems. A lot of people are going to be upset. A lot of people is going to be upset, especially because they ain't going to get their check. 
You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the reparations and all that. Right? Not all so-called black people were slaves. Whether they were Indians or black Europeans. Right? I want to, um, just real quick. So again, I had to buy this book. I had a lot of expenses today with my uh, with electricity and stuff. A, lot, a whole lot of money for getting it fixed. They stole all the breakers, guys. Left me with no electricity in the morning. Not just me, but all my mom's apartment, six of them. And we had to fix them. The, the electrical company, didn't, don't, they don't replace that stuff here. They only replace it, they take the, the actual whole meter. The electrical meter, not just the fuse or the breakers or parts. All right, so this is my uh, Patreon. All right, it's uh, patreon.com forward slash Kudimeo. Um, if you ever wanted to donate to me, uh, help me out with the research, help me out being able to buy books that I've been hesitant to buy because you know I didn't, I didn't know, you know, I didn't, I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I, honestly, I didn't, I, I couldn't. You know, and uh, so I always look for free books online, whatever I can find. If I couldn't find it for free, I just you know, didn't didn't bother. But there's a whole bunch of books and everything I want dead. A lot of them are very expensive. I've been trying to look for see if I can get them cheaper, but a lot of them are like hundreds of dollars. And you know, I would be very interested in getting. You guys want to help me out with that so we can uncover this? Um, when you become a patron, it's not just giving me money. I share a lot of things here. For example, I just want to share some of the examples. We, I showed a couple of them the other day. What every survivor should grow in the backyard. Uh, PDF, the Book of Indians of North America. The most complete part of history of the United States. Survival book, Verisong's Voyage, but they list them as uh, the last book of Herbal Remedies. The Complete Outdoor Man Handbook. Allegory of the Contents, the first volume. The seven volumes of this. I just got the first volume in here, and I'm going to share all the volumes here. Making Indians White, great article. American Indian Contributions to the World Encyclopedia. This book is great. I know you guys have read this and had people read it to you for a couple of years. <laughs> yeah, they forget the source where they got it from, though. <laughs> a lot of people forget a lot of things where they got this information from, right? And then they're talking about heavyweight bill and only, only I, only I brought this to you first, right? We're not here to put ourselves in pedestal, in pedestals and boost ourselves pridefully, right? But this is a great book. Ancient History of the Angles of the Kentucky, a survey of ancient monuments of North America and a tablet view of the principal language and primitive This is a great book. You want to understand the Olmec a little bit better? Who really are the Olmec and what kind of info they have? It's not just big stone heads, guys. That's not the only old Olmec phenotype. Google Olmec right now, or Olmec pottery, right, Olmec people, you start seeing also like Asian looking people, right? And Asian looking dress and, and clothing, doesn't mean they're Asian though. If this is America, the true old world, maybe it will be the other way around. And they look like you. But we're talking about what Drew Ali was talking about, right? Black Asiatics. All right, right here. This is a PDF, PDFs from part 18 from indigenous American to African American. All right, what does that have? It has one, two, one, two, three, four, five, five books. One of them is the American Bar Association Journal, volume 56, The Illegal Beginnings of American Negro Slavery, the Additional Cases Concerning American Slavery, the Negroes, History of Slavery in Virginia, Indian Slavery, Colonial Times, The Book of the Pro. George Federico, all right, that's just some examples of what's in that post. The relationship between the indigenous people, the Americas, and the horse, deconstructing a European myth. Future video, all right, it's almost like a part two of my ancient American animals video I did. If you haven't watched that video, great video. We proved that horses, dogs, mammals, carnivores, elephants, camels, Almost all that, big cats, cats, all came from America. They all originated in America. Lions, we had all that. We had horses when the Europeans got here. Don't let them lie to you. Don't let them deceive you. Book, 
the Jews and Muslims in British Columbia, America, genealogical history from Elizabeth Hirsch McDonald Jace. Great book. We ain't even done reading this. So much Jews in this book. Rewriting history with this book too. All right, the magic and mystery of ancient Mexico. I got a little song here that is, I think is awesome. You can't even play this song. This song right here won't even play in the U.S. It's not allowed. They don't want you to feel it. The spirit, the ruach. If you're my patron, you can hear it. It's beautiful. Great book on Indian slavery. All right? This is the, ooh, the book, The Lost Ways. This is a great book. Great book, The Lost Ways of the Ancestors. How to survive like the ancestors did. Atlantis in America, PDF book, all right? And I got a couple more posts. I post over time. I get, um, you know, personal personal with my patrons. They write to me, give, send me personal messages. I respond right away. More personal communication with me. Again, if you want to support what I do, if you want to make this mainstream, if you want to help me build something, a real school, real education, real online courses, real. I'm not talking about for me. I'm not trying to be rich, guys. I don't want to. I don't care about rich. I don't care about rich. You know, rich. I want us to be free. I want my children to have a future. I want them to live the right way. I want them to know truth. I want them to have a place they can learn from and their kids. I want to make this happen. All right? Again, only do this if you're willing and able. Because I'm going to continue to do what I do, whether you do or not. But if you'd like to help me out, make it a little easier for me, I would appreciate it and I, and I, very much so. All right, guys? So just want to bring it to my Patreon page. Again, I'm going to keep posting so many books here. I'm going to post videos and highlights. Of, I'm going to do a spoilers. Uh, previews of my of the work that I'm doing. I'm gonna upload videos and talk through my garden, all that stuff, self help stuff. I'm gonna do it here too. You know, I gotta spend more time with it. My patrons here, take more care of them. You know, I appreciate all of you guys who are my patrons already. I appreciate you very, very, very much, very much. And uh, you are helping me build something great. You are helping because you know I don't just keep the money. I go into a lot of different things. I do a lot with the money and I help a lot of people. I don't, you know. So, all right, again, yes, I don't usually do this, but I really want to get this started. I really want to make this my job. I really want to, I really want to be an educator. I really want to get this going. And, and